massive storm pounds the northeast as driving winds and blinding snow lead to at least three deaths and leave more than a half a million people without power. We'll have the latest on the storm and the travel nightmare it's causing. New details on the tragedy at SeaWorld, plus the fate of the killer whale that drowned his trailer has been decided. We'll tell you what it is. If you tweet or text, your every move beware. We'll show you a new website that's taking your information and making it easy for criminals to rob you. And oh, Canada, the women's team wins a gold for hockey and a gold for partying. The latest controversy from Vancouver early this Friday morning, February 26, 2010. everybody. It's a little snowy in New York. I'm Harry Smith. Good I'm morning, Maggie, Maggie Rodriguez and we are out in it everybody. This is what our neighborhood looks like this morning. What are you waking up to? If you're in the Northeast, <laughs> chances are it looks pretty similar. And I gotta say though, standing out here, it does look like a postcard. It it's is gorgeous. Spectacularly beautiful. Very quiet though. Not so much traffic yet this morning. There's a significant police presence out there. They're actually doing their regular terrorism drills. We got a guy over here. Cleaning up the sidewalk. Doing his best to keep the uh, sidewalks clear. At Sir, we salute and you and thank you even though you can't hear us. You know what's sad? This is a sad picture. Ain't nobody having coffee at these little tables right here today. Well, no, come on over here. <laughs> are we? Maybe this is. All right, maybe we are. Right. Making I think a little this is cozy. The way to go. Romantic little right. nook. Here. All right. All right. There you Perfect. go. Nice. Maybe we'll stay here the whole program. Maybe not. Can I get some coffee out here? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> and some hot chocolate. But seriously, this storm is expected already. We're seeing it bringing a lot of problems to the Northeast. So let's go right to CBS News correspondent Jim Axelrod. He is this morning in Stanhope, New Jersey, to bring us the latest on this storm that is not.